so today I have a very cool trick to show you all, and this is what it looks like. So over here I have a deck of cards. All the cards are pretty mixed up and random. I can go ahead and give them a quick shuffle if the spectator would like me to, but it is not necessary. So basically the spectator can go ahead and pick out any card in the entire deck. So let's say they want to pick out this card. I'm going to look away, but please remember this card. And if I had a spectator, I would actually hand them the card and I would want them to officially lose the card in the deck. So I'd give them the card and they can go ahead and place it anywhere they want to in the deck. So now, usually magicians don't tell you what's going to happen next in card tricks, but that's actually not the case. Today, I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm going to try to do. So there's this really famous trick where the spectator picks a card, loses it in the deck. The magician sets the deck down, snaps his fingers, and spreads through the deck. And as you can see, not right now, but basically what would happen in the trick is that the spectator's card would magically turn face up among all of the other face down cards. So now there are two possible methods to how this trick is done. The first method that I've heard is actually pretty funny because it's mostly how skeptics think I do this trick. So how they think I do the trick is they think I take the card, let's say it's like the eight of spades or something, um, and they think I just use a lot of speed and sleight of hand to magically place it um, in the deck without them seeing. But obviously this would be pretty hard because I don't think I'm that good enough to actually, you know, lose it in the deck face up um, without you guys seeing because I think you guys would notice that, you know, on camera and stuff. But that's actually not the method I use at all. So the method that I use uses no sleight of hand. So I'm going to show you guys what this looks like. So basically first, remember you guys could have picked any single card in this entire deck that you wanted to among all these face down cards. So now watch, this, this method uses no sleight of hand whatsoever. So watch this. All the spectator has to do is name their card. So they go ahead and name their card, and they watch the magic happen. The magician snaps his fingers, and impossibly, the card has now turned face up in the middle of the deck, the king of spades. So hopefully that worked out, so hopefully you guys like the trick, and now for the tutorial. All right, guys, so here's the tutorial for the trick that you just saw. So although this trick is pretty simple, it gets very good reactions. So that's why I really want to teach it to you guys on this channel. So this is the tutorial for the trick right now. So basically, it is totally impromptu. You guys just need a normal deck of cards, and you guys are all ready to go. Shuffle the cards if the spectator is skeptical um, at first, but you can totally do that because it's impromptu. So that's really nice. So you can have the spectator shuffle it as well. Um, but basically, first have them select a card so they can go ahead and select any card no force needed so let's say they pick the four of hearts and then basically you guys all you guys have to do is just make sure you control it um, back to the top in any method you guys would like to do so in the performance if you're wondering how I did that control um, all I did was a second deal so what a second deal is is it looks like you're dealing uh, the top card on the table but in fact you're just dealing the second card on the table and then I basically lost that card in the middle, but it actually just maintained the top card on top just like this. So if you guys want to learn how to do that, I might make a tutorial for it in the future. But for now, just to keep this tutorial nice and short, um, just make sure you lose the card in the middle and then control it to the top in any method that you want to. So now that the card is on top, we can move on to the next part of the trick. So now you're going to explain this famous trick of um, having the magician snap his fingers and the card magically appears face up in the middle of the deck and you can actually demonstrate this if you want to this next part that you're going to demonstrate is actually um, like essential to the trick and it's part of the setting up of the next part of the trick so you're going to want to do this next part of the trick so you're going to be explaining the uh the two methods of this trick and how it could be done so basically the first method that you're going to say is how um, you think skeptics think this trick is done all you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get a double lift ready so keep in mind their card is on top but you're going to want to get a double lift ready in whatever method you guys want to do so you can do a pinky count just like this or you can do a uh, you can like riffle riffle up the back or whatever you guys want to do but just make sure you have a double lift so when you have a double lift ready you're going to explain first this is how the skeptics think it's done so you're going to flip over a double lift and this is just going to be a random card so let's say it's the three of hearts in this case so Keep in mind, their card is actually right there behind this card over here. So you're going to want to keep these two cards out jogged on top of the deck. And what you're going to do is you're going to take the card with your fingers over here in the top right corner. Um, and you're going to take these two cards as one 
Um, but this is just a natural way to like take a card and lose it in the middle of the deck. So that's why it looks pretty natural. So you're going to just want to hold the card just like this, how you would normally hold a card, but just keep it nice and square because remember, this is two cards. So you're going to hold the card just like this, riffle down about half the cards, and then you're going to place the double inside of the deck. So both cards go inside of the deck in the same place, just like this. So now for this next part of the trick, you're going to want to like do a lot of talking and gesturing with your hands because there's going to be some misdirection going on here as you're talking about misdirection, which is kind of funny and ironic. So basically, you're going to be taking your index finger here, and you're going to be just slowly pushing down the back card. And this is going to be their selection back here. The four of hearts is their selection. Um, but as you're talking, you're going to be slowly taking the card and pushing it down further and further into the deck until it's totally squared up. And that's basically what you're going to be doing, but you're going to be talking and moving your hands a lot, and that's going to be the cover of this entire move right here. So basically, um, you have both cards out jogged at first, just like this. I like to point to the card first, I say. So a lot of people think I lose the card in the middle of the deck um, using a lot of speed and misdirection, and then I control it to the middle or something like that. You guys can make up your own dialogue. But what I do is I make sure I press my index finger um, on top of the card just like this, and then I use my other index finger to point to this card as well. And as I'm pointing to this card, I can hold it for about a millisecond, and I'm going to apply pressure, so that, that gives me sort of like a base to um, drag the card down from, because, I mean, if you don't put your index finger there, you can still do it, but it, you could bend the card, and it could kind of ruin it, so you guys want to have a little bit of a base, so you guys can place your index finger there, and then place your other index finger on top. That can be the base to sort of, you know, start to drag it down, but once you get it to about there, then you can remove your right hand index finger, and you can proceed to just slowly push the card down. It's very easy from there. So you're just going to be talking, 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 shaking your hand, and you're just going to be placing the card um, further and further into the deck until it's totally squared up, and you're going to be doing that as you're talking. So basically, once that's done, you can now spin the three of hearts, or the random card, out of the deck, show it's just a normal card, and set it back on top of the deck. This next move, this next move was sort of a move that I um, described in my previous video. It's sort of like um, you're showing all the cards are face down, and you're doing sort of a block push um, in the middle of the deck to conceal that face up four of hearts. Because what you're going to be doing, guys, is you're going to be spreading just through blocks of cards, just normally. Once you think you get to about the middle of the deck, you're going to start to block push. Oh, oh my god. So once you get to about the middle of the deck, you're just going to want to like block push over a bunch of cards at once. Then once you do that, then you can continue to spread through the cards normally. Um, but you just have to do this nice and fluid so that it doesn't seem suspicious. So that's why I like to do this move in little chunks of cards just like this. In little chunks, that makes the block of cards seem less suspicious than you going like one by one and then boom and then one by one. So that would be a little bit suspicious. But if you do chunks and then you get to the middle, block push, and then keep doing chunks, it's much less suspicious. So now basically you're doing this entire part to show that um, all the cards are face down, because it's going to be very magical in a second when you set the deck down. You do no sleight of hand in this part because it's actually already set up. The card is already face up in the middle of the deck, so all you have to do is have them name their card if you guys want to, or you can just snap the fingers and spread through the deck and reveal. I kind of like to have the spectator name the card out loud first. So I have the spectator name the card Four of Hearts. I snap my fingers and I say, watch this. No sleight of hand. The card is completely face up in the deck with no sleight of hand and that's like absolutely impossible that's like real magic right there so although that is a pretty you know simple trick i think it gets pretty great reactions because i've done this trick multiple times and trust me guys i do get great reactions every single time so hopefully you guys like this video and hopefully you guys like the trick as well so hopefully i see you guys for my next video bye